Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about how I did this gel manicure at home. And I'm really, really excited for this video. I, I'm just the type of person, I always have my nails painted. I think I, I just don't like the way my like hands look without nail polish. I don't know, I think I just have fat fingers. But I just always have to have nail polish on, so I was getting really sick and tired of repainting my nails every four to five days because they were just chipping constantly. Um, and I was just getting really sick of it. So I started going to the salon to get a gel manicure and I loved it. I loved the way um, it looked and how long they lasted. Each gel manicure lasts like two to three weeks. Um, and I wasn't getting any chipping and they were staying like really nice and glossy. I just really, really liked the way the gel manicure was looking. But that was $40 every time I was going to the salon. So it was like $40 every two to three weeks. And that was just a lot of money. And so I just figured I could do this myself. I don't need to be going to the salon. I can paint my own nails. I've been doing it for years. So I decided to buy a bunch of stuff on Amazon, buy all the supplies I needed to do a gel manicure at home, and that's what today's video is. I'm gonna show you guys how I did it um, and just all the products that I bought and um, everything that you're gonna need to do this. I ended up spending around $65 to get um, the polishes and um, the little lamp, and then I got a, a few extra items, like I got a nail file and stuff like that. Um, and I ended up picking three different gel colors. I, I chose like my top three most worn colors just to try, uh, just to like test it out and see how I like it. Um, and like I said, that ended up being like $65. And I'm guessing that I could probably do around 100 to 150 manicures with all the supplies I bought. And that averages out to be around 50 cents per manicure, which is just life changing. It kind of makes me sick to think that <laughs> I was spending $40 at a manicure or at a salon when I could have just been doing this at home for so much cheaper. So um, if you guys are interested, keep watching this video and um, yeah, let's just get into it. Okay, so I already did my right hand just so I could kind of practice and see how this worked. I think it was really, really awesome. I'm not gonna lie, it was a little hard to do my right hand. This one kind of got a little like clumpy and thick, but otherwise I think it looks really, really, really good. And I did it last night. And honestly, if this was just regular nail polish, I would have woken up in the morning and it already would have been like chipped and it looks really good. So I'm gonna show you guys what you need and how to do it. I'm gonna do it on my left hand. So uh, all the stuff that I have here that I'm gonna be using today, I ordered off of Amazon and I will have everything linked below with prices and everything just for all the stuff that I picked out. Um, I'll start with the essentials that you need. So first thing is one of these uh, UV LED lights. Um, this is by the brand Sun UV. It's pretty cute, it's small. I like it, you can also put your toes under here if you wanted to do your toes as well. So I really like this one. I think it was around like $25, um, but like I said, I'll link it below. Um, but it has a little timer on here. It has 30 seconds and 60 seconds, and then you just put your hand underneath it. So I'll show you guys that when we get into it. Um, you're also going to need a gel uh, base coat and a top coat. So these are the ones that I chose. These are just um, from the brand Beatles, I believe. Yeah, just from the brand Beatles. I kind of just <laughs> chose stuff on Amazon, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know like any of these brands, but um, yeah, so we're just gonna give it a try. So you definitely need a base gel and a top coat gel. So those are necessities. Then um, I got a couple of nail polishes or gel polishes to use. Um, this is by the brand, oh gosh, I can't even say this, Amelie. <laughs> um, so this is Soak Off Gel Polish, which um, is the easiest way to get it off. You kind of just like wrap your fingers in um, acetone and cover them with foil and then like let them soak for a little bit. Um, but anyways, I went ahead and got three colors. I got white, which is what I'm gonna be using today. Those are the uh, things that you like have to have. The some optional things are a nail file and then just like a buffing brush 
square thing. I don't know what this is called. Um, but yeah, just if you wanna file down your nails and buff them, this is kind of optional. I went ahead and did this already, but just wanted to show you guys that. Okay, so I had to go run and grab something. Um, I forgot. I need a little thing of uh, nail polish remover. This is just 100% acetone. Um, and then these little, these are just paint brushes actually, but you could use makeup brushes if you want. But this, I found that this helped a lot. If you kind of went around and cleaned up your cuticles before you put them under the uh, LED lights, it helped a lot because <laughs> It's impossible not to get it on your cuticles. I'm not gonna lie. So this is just kind of the help clean up. So We are gonna get into it First thing we're gonna do is take the base color. So obviously this is just gonna be a clear coat And try really hard not to get it on your cuticles because it's gonna kind of clump up and just get stuck on there And it just doesn't look as clean. So make sure to push back your cuticles and just try really really hard not to get it on there <laughs> so i'm gonna go with the top or the base coat i'm gonna do it on all of my nails and then cure them all at once So I've got the base done on all of my nails. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it under the UV light. I'm gonna do it for 60 seconds and then we'll reevaluate after that. So just press the little button to get it over the 60 second marker and then just place your hand underneath. Okay, so the 60 seconds are up. I'm just gonna kind of touch them, they still seem like a little sticky, so I think I'm gonna put them back under for 30 more seconds. Okay, so our base is all done. I put it under there for like a minute and 30 seconds total, so I think that should be good. Okay, so now we're moving on to the harder part, which is the actual color. So I'm gonna do white, because that's what I have on my other hand already. Um, I'm gonna do the, all the nails at once, but just keep in mind that um, you want to clean up anything that you get on your cuticles before you put it under the light. Because once you put it under the light, it gets really, really hard and it's like impossible to get off. Um, so yeah, that's, that's what I'm going to be doing. So let's try this. Also, um, the polishes seem to be pretty thick, which I mean makes sense. They're, that's what they look like when you when they're dry and everything. Um, so just try to get a thin coat as possible. Like that's you don't want to have it like too thick and goopy. So just try to get a thin layer. And again, do not get it on your cuticles. Okay, so that one was pretty good. <laughs> I'm gonna clean it up just a little bit, just cause I got it a little bit on my um, skin right here. But if you can see that this nail polish remover, it's just taking it away like immediately. So it's a lot easier to clean up before it's dry. So <laughs> definitely do that. It's probably my number one tip for this. <laughs> So this whole hand is painted. I'm gonna put it under the light for 60 seconds now. Okay, so that first layer is dry. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a second layer of the color. Um, I can't remember if it was just the website or the brand or what. Um, they recommended to do two to three coats of the color. Um, I only did two on my right hand, so I think that's all I'm gonna need. Um, so I'm gonna go back in with a second coat. Okay, so my second coat is done. Um, I'm gonna put it under the light again. So 
basically that's what you do. Every time you put a coat on, you put it under the light um, for maybe a minute to two minutes, um, depending on, I, th I think it's just the strength of the lights. Um, Cause I felt like a few times I could still feel like it was sticky. Um, so I'd put it under a little bit longer, but up to you. Okay, now that I've got my color coats, I think this is good. Two coats was plenty. Um, oh my gosh, I got a hair in it, I gotta get it out. Okay, um, so I think two coats was plenty for the white. Um, I'm sure if you used like more of a nude color, you might do more, and maybe the pink one that I got, I might have to do three, but two seems plenty, so I am going to go in with my final coat, which is the top coat, and then we will let it dry under the light. Okay, so now I've got my top coat. This is the final coat, so we're gonna put it under for 60 more seconds. I might do um, two minutes just to like be absolutely sure that it's dry, um, but we'll start with 60. Okay, so there we have it. We are done with our gel manicure at home. I think it looks amazing. I am so excited that I have all these products now. I, I mean, I think if you can paint your nails with regular nail polish, you can absolutely do this yourself at home. Um, I'll admit that the light does add some extra time. Normally I can paint my nails in like two minutes flat, um, but the light does add a little longer time, but I don't care because this manicure will last two weeks and with regular nail polish, I have to paint my nails like maybe every four days, something like that. So I am really excited about this. I think it turned out wonderful. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up and um, subscribe if you guys want more videos like this and um, go check out some of my other ones. Thanks guys.